I'm Dave Champion. It's been a while since I've made a video for the Busy Keto Life page. There's a lot of good videos there, and I don't want to just keep adding trivial stuff. You know what a lot of YouTube presenters do? They just keep adding and adding and adding and adding, and it doesn't bring a lot to the table. So on the Busy Keto Life page, I've sort of, I think I've got all the fundamentals there. So I haven't made a lot of additional videos because I don't want to overburden you with a bunch of trivialities. But I have something to announce which is absolutely the opposite of a triviality. And that is the release of my new book, Body Science. Now, it's got a crazy subtitle. The subtitle is The New 21st Century Understanding of How Your Physiology Really Works, Leave the Myths and Lies Behind, Get Healthier Than You or Your Doctor Ever Imagined, and Avoid Chronic Disease. Like I said, a crazy subtitle, right? But the reason I chose that subtitle is when people look at the book, I want them to have an appreciation for exactly what it is they're buying. I believe in transparency. So when you take a look at body science and you read that, you know exactly what you're getting. Now, let me give you a little background on how body science came to be and why you need it. I've told the story numerous times before about how I came to keto. I'm going to tell you that story again briefly, but where it led me. Okay, so I did not know at the time that I was insulin resistant. This goes back a couple of years. And I walked into the gym one day. There was a guy who's 5'11", pushing probably 320, 340. Big boy, right? And that wasn't muscle. <laughs> and I hadn't seen him in about five months. And I saw this guy walk into the gym. And I looked over and I thought, wow, is that Sean? No, that couldn't be Sean. Sean's like twice that big. And all of a sudden, the guy turned around. And I was like, holy cow, that is Sean. And so I walked up to him. I'm like, hey, man, how you been? And where is the other half of you? <laughs> okay. And so we had this conversation, which introduced me to keto. That was the door through which I walked. And part of the experience that has led to body science was that very first conversation where he said, oh, I've lost all this weight, eating 80% fat. Yeah, right. I might have been bored at night, but it wasn't last night. But there was the evidence standing right there in front of me, right? So that opened uh, a question mark in my mind, which was, wait, wait, wait. If this guy is telling the truth, that would mean that virtually everything I've been told in my entire life about nutrition and diet and how it works physiologically in the body is false. So whenever you present me with that sort of paradigm, like wait, th this whole big macro theme that everybody believes in is false, I've got to tear into it. So that led me into the field of physiology, which it turned out I absolutely love. I have a love affair with physiology. And it comes very easily to me. It's like breathing, studying physiology. There's nothing hard. There's nothing difficult about it. Um, it's a little time consuming at, at times, but nothing hard. It's just, and, and I love the results. I love the research and the results that they yield because if you apply yourself and you use logic and reason and rational thinking uh, to how the body functions, it's pretty clear that all that other stuff has nothing to do, all the, these, these things that you've been told your whole life, they have nothing to do with how the body really actually works. Okay, so. When I came to that understanding, now that, that, that understanding transcends the keto diet. Okay? Uh, for instance, in body science, I don't talk about the keto diet. I don't talk about the carnivore diet. I don't talk about the paleo diet. I don't talk about the South Beach diet. <laughs> None of them, okay? because it's not a diet book. It is a f first and foremost, a physiology book in that it teaches you how the body really actually works, not the myths, the misconceptions, the misleading statements, the mischaracterizations, the out and out lies you've been told for the last 30, 40, 50, 60 years. It tells you how the body really works in very simple terms. We talk about the science and we break it down into plain English and then we get to the conclusion. So if, if this is what the body does and then it, it goes to here and then it does this, how does that affect the outcome for you, right? We do that first. We talk a little bit about the history of how all these, I'm going to call them what they are, lies started being put out into the American society about 60 years ago, and it's only gotten worse since then. That's what has led America into the worst health crisis 
that any nation has ever experienced. And we're in the midst of it right now, and it's getting worse. And I talk about that in the book. So I unmask the corruption in the nutritional and medical research industries. We talk a lot about uh, big government, big pharma, big med, food processing industry, and so forth. So that you understand not just what the physiology is, not just what lies you've been told, but why this paradigm exists in, in America. And then we get down to what it takes to be healthy, what it takes to never get chronic diseases such as dementia, Alzheimer's, heart disease, insulin resistance, diabetes type 2, and so forth. I even have, at the very end of the book, outside the last chapter, I even have my hypothesis on how society can combat type 1 diabetes. Okay, So this book is incredibly full-featured, but the big takeaway from this is that you've got this entire societal picture okay, of what creates health and how to be robust. And, and while society is looking at this giant construct, getting sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker at an earlier and earlier age. And then there's this, which ends all of that, ends all of that. You know, if you're, I don't know, 35, 40, 45, and you're thinking, you know, I'm getting to that age where, where men are, and women when they get in their 50s, when men are starting to be concerned about heart disease and heart attack, stop being concerned. Read a book. Okay. And so much more. It, it, in fact, the book contains so much information and it is so valuable. It's hard for me here in a video to express to you everything you're going to get out of this. But I wanted you to know what it does, what it conveys, what it will do for your life, and that it is out and available for you now. So all you have to do is go to Reality dot news and you'll see it it'll pop right back right up hit the buy button please do go read the reviews i've got to say i'm almost a little embarrassed or uncomfortable um, my first book income tax shattering the mist it's been out for a decade it has gotten over 10 years universally amazing reviews. I, I think in 10 years, the worst it's ever been rated, and we're talking about like tiny, tiny percentage, is like 4.5 stars out of five. And most of them are five stars, uh, like probably 98% are five stars. And it gets glowing reviews every time somebody talks about it, which of course I'm very flattered and that's a great thing. And I'm glad I'm putting out quality information. This is going in the exact same route. Every single review is coming in at five stars. That's what I said. A little embarrassing for a brand new work. It's like, okay, so where's the objective criticism? Well, apparently the test readers did a great job helping me hone this down. So it's just blowing people's minds in a very positive sense. I will also tell you, you get to chapter 11 and I drop what I call the nuclear bomb. Uh, it's funny because when I was first writing the book, I thought, you know, this is going to turn people off. Uh, it's such a dynamic 180 from everything they've been taught in their life, everything they've been taught in their life, that they're going to get to chapter 11, they're going to get to that point, they're going to go, this was a good book up until right at this moment. Okay. Um, so the test readers, nobody even mentioned it. Apparently I'd laid so much scientific foundation that when they got there, it was like, well, yeah, of course. Okay, so now there are, I don't know, maybe close to a thousand copies out in circulation of the public and lots of feedback to me from it. No one's even mentioned the nuclear bomb. So apparently it, 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 the public didn't react to it as I was concerned they might because the information, the, the track record of all the science and the history and the politics so forth is laid so completely that by the time you get to the nuclear bomb, you're like, Oh, that makes perfect sense. Okay, so I've been rambling and rambling. I just want you to know what's out there. And I want you to know, in the introduction, I tell people that when they've closed the final page of the book, I want them to say to themselves, this changes everything. I can't tell you how many readers have sent me emails and said, you're right, this book changes everything. Thanks for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.